Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to tell my friends about Lhasa. Lhasa is a Tibetan New Year celebration. It is the most important festival in Tibet. Lhasa is celebrated by Tibetans in Tibet and all around the world. It is also celebrated by people in the Himalayan region. Hi, I'm Tenzin's mother and here I'm preparing dough to make kapsay for Losar. Kapsay is a Tibetan delicacy. It is a kind of pastry. So pastry in Tibetan is uh, called kapsay. So this kapsi here is shaped like a uh, donkey's ears. That is why we call it Pungu Amjo. Pungu meaning uh, donkey and Amjo meaning ears. So, and these kapsis we make uh, around 10 to 12 and we stack it as offerings in front of uh, Buddha's image on altar. And it is a custom and tradition to do this in every Tibetan family. And for Losar, we decorate our altar with offerings of delicacies, food, flowers, and uh, all kinds of good things. <laughs> So here kids and I are on our way to Asda. We still need to do some shopping for home. Still need to get few things for Losa. This day is Nishugu. Nishugu is the 29th day of the last month of the Tibetan calendar. So on this day, it is a custom to eat noodle soup in every Tibetan family. And uh, this noodle soup is called uh, Gutuk. Gu meaning nine and Tuk meaning noodle soup. So, and so this is how I prepare my um, Gutuk. People have their own style of making gutu, but uh, this is how I make. So I pull a piece of dough and roll it in my finger like this. And So these are the items that are going to be wrapped inside a dough ball. See here is a piece of uh, cotton which is wrapped inside a dough and rolled into a ball like that. And now we add another item. So each item represents a meaning. So if someone gets a cotton in their dough ball, uh, it indicates that the person has a pure heart and if someone gets chilly that means the person has a quick temper and a sharp tongue now these are uh, done for a bit of a fun when having meals and with a great sense of humor and these are taken lightly these are taken very lightly and not seriously so my noodle is ready now and all the doughs have gone inside the noodle soup now here all of us are making uh, a dough effigy this dough effigy represents uh, people of the household and uh, this is done to drive out negativities and misfortune we take a piece of dough and uh, make a hand imprint on it just like tenzin is doing here uh, every family member does this and we leave this around uh, the effigy and later we will leave our leftover noodle soup with the effigy and we'll take it outside and uh, normally it is kept at a road junction it is like a cleansing rit ritual 
so my gutu is ready and uh, Tisong and Tenzin are both very excited to reveal what's inside the door each of them got two dough balls and Tisong got sun no I'm sorry Tisong got uh, moon and salt and Tenzin got uh, sun and um, cotton excuse our fingers here the door is very slippery so we had to use our hand so moon indicates that all his activities will be like a moonshine and uh, sun same thing it indicates that all her activities will be like a sunshine now these are taken very light-heartedly this is the first day of Losa and we are here at Peace House paying homage to the Buddha. Tenzin's father is explaining to her the physical qualities of Buddha. Because of lockdown this year, we haven't been able to meet at the center. Every year on the first day of Losa, normally we meet early morning. So excuse the noise in the background. It is hard to maintain silence when you have kids in the house. So here we are celebrating Losa on Zoom. And a famous artist is singing for us very kindly. This is a short video clip. So that is it. And here is a picture of Tisong and Tenzin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.